Hey everybody, welcome back for day eight of conductor training with Norfolk Southern. I uh, wanted to go through the syllabus as usual with you guys to let you know what my day kind of looked like, um, but also wanted to touch on the operating rules and all of these rule books that we talked about in an earlier video. Uh, these books are no longer being handed out. Um, all of these are gonna be electronic now on a computer system. They'll give you a handheld device when you start as a, a conductor and all this information will be accessible from there. They had a few left over, so we were able to pick up a few on the way out today. Um, but these are no longer going to be provided. Uh, this is the operating rules, the NS1, safety and general conduct rules, HAZMAT, and the OB1. Uh, so all of those are uh, going to be there for reference, but you guys probably won't get a physical copy. Um, they're going to be electronic from this point on. Um, if you look on eBay, I think some a lot of people end up selling these, even though they shouldn't. But if you want a copy for yourself and you can't seem to get it from your local uh, yard, by all means, go ahead and do that. Um, let's look into the day and kind of run down the uh, the schedule for the day. We started off in A. A is going to be preparing a locomotive. So let's talk about that a second. Preparing a locomotive, um, what they did is they had us uh, spend some time out in the yard and we looked at a small pusher locomotive that moves cars from one track to another in a yard. Uh, it's only four axles. It's a much smaller engine. Um, and then we moved over to a six axle, which is your large wide body um, locomotives that are used for long trips. Think about them like uh, kind of like a tractor trailer. Uh, so they're used for long hauls. When we did the, uh, the long haul train, we actually got to climb up on it and go in for the first time. Uh, the instructor walked us through where everything was located uh, on, on the locomotive. And also once we got inside, showed us where our position is, where the uh, engineer's position is, where the fuel cutoff switch is, the uh, conductor's emergency brake, amongst a, a bunch of other things where tools are stored, uh, the, the restrooms and, and the rules of the road. You'll understand that when you get here. Um, <clears throat> and kind of walked us through all those things, answered any questions that we had, and then we got off of that. After that, we went over and did ground air. Uh, ground air is essentially the same as connecting a locomotive to your, your set of cars to give brake pressure from the beginning of the train all the way to the end, except they're using in-ground air. Um, so kind of like an air compressor to push that through the system so you can do your tests. Uh, showed how to apply it, take it off, and do all that safely. Uh, after that was done, we did yard switching. Um, yard switching for this day was kind of combining the things that you've learned up until that point through the car inspection, through brake tests, those kind of things, how to separate cars safely, uh, to do a C-102 and leave a car standing, make a cut, and then ride the remaining cut out of the yard, uh, get to the end, make a switch, and then put that car uh, back in, in the, the second uh, track. So we had a bunch of reps of that back and forth. To